After a four-month pregnancy, the babies are born in spring. They're gentle mothers, and though they usually only have one baby, this one has twins. Families are very affectionate and stick by each other in times of need. Then, these mothers show a very different side to their personality. If there's a conflict between the groups, it's the females that lead the charge. And these little babies go to the front line with them. They're going on patrol to protect their patch. And the babies had better hang on tight. There's an air of solidarity and purpose. I follow quietly. Their boundaries are clear cut, but the neighbours have been trespassing. The battle lines are drawn. more and more ferocious, and the babies have to cling on for dear life. If they fall, they'll be surrounded by the enemy and probably won't survive. Very few animals gang up like this and go to war to protect their food. But it's something that we can easily identify with. One final skirmish, and the boundaries are secure. Seems to be all over now, and thanks to their strong grip, none of the babies were hurt. They all managed to escape the battle without injury. And now that the group have protected their supply of food, they can get on with the business of eating, tucking into their favourite, the tamarind pods. They may have a powerful grip, but they can only hold the pods like this and have to tear them open with their teeth. What they can't do is this with their finger and thumb, which allows us to manipulate things with precision. It may not seem like much, but it was a revolutionary change and one which was to give the monkeys a huge advantage. Without that thumb position, they could never fashion tools as we have done.